Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today we're going to create a product page using Metabox and Elementor. I'm taking a car rental for the product as an example. This is a singular page, which also means the product page. All of this information is saved in a post of a custom post type. The name of this product and its descriptions are the title and content of this post. The remaining detailed information will be saved in the custom fields that are created by Metabox. Also, this page is built with Elementor. So in this practice, we need these tools. Metabox has a framework to create a custom post type and custom fields, and Metabox AIO is to have some advanced features from Metabox, which are MB custom post type helps create custom post types. Next, Metabox Builder provides a UI on the back end to create custom fields easily. Metabox Elementor Integrator is used to get the dynamic data from custom fields created by Metabox. And the Elementor to build the page. I'm using Elementor Pro, which has integration with Metabox. Go to Metabox and create a new post type for the product. After creating a new post type, you'll see a new menu appear here. The product has extra detailed information, so we'll create custom fields to save them. First, choose the number field for numeric information, such as rental price, car year, and max passengers. For the car year information, you can fill in an example year like this so that when entering information, users can easily understand and enter the information correctly. Continue with the max passengers information. Just enter numbers in the minimum and max value boxes to limit the number of passengers. Next, choose the select field for the fuel information. There is some type of fuel, so when we choose the select field, we have a place to input the option for choosing like this. The same with the doors information. Also for the gearbox. Next, add the text field for the fuel usage. You can add some descriptions to add information to the field. To know more about the field type, you may have your own specific information for the product. So you may want to find out each field type to get the matching ones. We have a video to talk about all the field types of Metabox in detail. You can dig into it. I also have an image advanced field for having an image gallery for the product. After creating the custom fields you want, move to the settings tab. Choose location as post type and select car rental to apply these fields to this post type. Go to the post editor, you will see all of the created custom fields. Just fill in the information. Go to the Elementor theme builder and create a new template. Since it's for a singular page of a custom post type, so, we'll create it in the type of a single post. Remember to set the preview for the template. Let's edit the template. First, add a widget and choose the layout for it. My product page is in the type of two column. So, I'll choose this one. In the first column, select the image carousel to display the image gallery as a slider. Then, to get the image that is saved in the custom field, Go to the dynamic tags, find the meta box field in the post section from the drop down list, and choose the field that is set for the image. Now you can see all of the images appear. Just customize the settings of the carousel to get the desired display for the slider. Move to the second column to display other information about the product. 
The first one is the product's name which is saved in the post title. Next, select the post content element to get the product's description. For the rental price information, choose the text editor element. Since the rental price is saved in custom fields created by Metabox, also use the dynamics tags. Find the Metabox field in the post section, then choose the corresponding fields. A number will be displayed without a unit of the pricing. To have the unit displayed here, go to this advanced section and add the currency unit. For the rest of the information in this section, they have the same style with two columns. The first one is the title, and the second one is the information that is obtained from the custom fields. So we'll use the inner section with two columns as well for each row here. Inside the inner section, you'll see two columns as I said. The first one is the title. So select the heading element. Just name it, and also style it. In the second column in the inner section, add a text editor element. Then connect it to the custom field to get the data using the dynamic tags. Take car year as an example. You can duplicate this intersection to have other rows. And change the information to get the right one. We've just finished getting all of the information about the product. Remember to set the condition for this template to apply it to the singular page of the car rental. Let's see how it displays in the front end. Still in the editor of the created template, just customize each element to get the wanted style. After styling, you'll see the new look. That's all for the tutorial today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.